All right, kids, today we're taking a look at some string which has been wrapped around a spool. Now, when I pull on the string, if I pull slightly up at an angle, the spool tries to go one way. And if I pull almost horizontally, the spool and string try to go the other way. And there's actually an angle that I can pull on the string where absolutely nothing happens. And the reasoning behind the rotation of this spool in one direction or the other goes back to torque and really force vectors. You see, if I pull upward on this spool, the force vector produces a torque in one direction. Pulling horizontally produces a torque in the other direction. Let me show you why. You see, the pivot point of the spool as it rolls along is not the center of the spool. The pivot point is actually right where the spool touches the ground. That is the point that everything rotates around. So when I pull upward on this spool, it produces a torque that's counterclockwise on the spool, causing it to move to the left or counterclockwise. When I pull in the opposite direction or to the right, it produces a torque that's clockwise on the spool, causing it to roll clockwise. Now, when I pull at an angle and absolutely nothing happens at just the right angle, it's because the force vector is actually passing through the point of contact with the ground. There's effectively no radius, or what we'd call no effective moment arm. And as a result, the spool doesn't go anywhere. So I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.